Jam friends. When someone does something wrong, they deserve to be punished. Sometimes punishment for kids could mean losing screen time, having to do extra chores, or not getting to do something fun that you wanted to do. As you get older, the punishment for adults can become bigger like losing a job, having to pay a fine like money, or even going to jail. We don't like to get punished, but when bad things happen, we want them to be made right. Justice means that the wrong thing that happened get its, gets its right punishment. But sometimes mercy happens too. Mercy is not getting the punishment even though it is deserved. The most merciful one of all is God. We deserve to be punished for our sins, but in His mercy, God made a way for us to be forgiven. Say it with me. God is merciful. Last time we learned that we are all valuable to God. Yet many people around the world throughout history have treated other groups of people as less than valuable. It's a problem that has been around for thousands of years. That's what was happening during the time when Jonah lived. There were um, a group of people called the Assyrians who were mean and cruel. They had conquered many other people around them. The Assyrians treated people who were not like them less valuable. The people of Israel, God's chosen people, did not like the Assyrians and thought of them as enemies. The Israelites thought the Assyrians were outside of God's love and God's plan, so they also thought the Assyrians weren't valuable. Both groups looked at each other as outcasts. One day, God spoke to Jonah, an Israelite prophet who told people of God's messages. God said, Go to the great city of Nineveh and preach against it because its wickedness has come up before me. Jonah was not pleased. Nineveh was the capital city of the Assyrians. The Ninevites were known for being cruel and mean. They were well known for sinning against God. Jonah knew this and didn't want any part of giving them God's warning because Jonah knew if God was warning the Ninevites about their sin, that meant God was also giving them a chance to change and turn away from their sin. Jonah thought the Ninevites were so bad that they didn't deserve that chance. God was offering the Ninevites mercy and compassion. God is full of mercy and compassion even for people who have done really bad things. But instead of saying yes to God and going to Nineveh, Jonah found a ship that was sailing as far as the opposite direction um, to a place called Tarshish. Jonah thought he was getting away from God and you know, getting away from obeying God. But can anyone truly run away from God without God knowing? No, you can never go anywhere that God doesn't already know about. But foolish Jonah was going to try and get away. Of course, God knew exactly where Jonah was and what he was doing. So God sent a huge storm that tossed the ship in the waves. The sailors thought the ship was going to break into pieces and they would all drown. They were terrified. They started throwing things overboard to make the ship lighter. And where was Jonah in the midst of this terrible storm and chaos? Sleeping below deck. The captain of the ship woke him up. How can you sleep? Get up and call on your God. Maybe he will take notice of us so that we will not perish. Then the sailors decided to cast lots to see who was responsible for the storm. The sailors cast lots because they were superstitious and afraid, but God used the lot to show them that the storm was because of Jonah. They asked when the, they cast a lot and Jonah's name came up, they asked him, who are you? Where did you come from? And Jonah said, I am a Hebrew and I worship the Lord, the God of the heaven who made the sea and the dry land. That made the sh sailors even more scared. The sailors believed in many false gods, but they heard about the one true God. Jonah told them he was running away from God and that's why God had sent the storm. So they, the sailors, they all said, what are we to do? Jonah had an answer. He said, throw me overboard and the storm will stop. The storm is here because of me. The sailors didn't want to do that because that would mean Jonah would definitely drown and die. They tried everything that they could think of to save everyone, but nothing worked. Finally, they got so desperate, they decided to consider Jonah's idea. Did the sailors throw Jonah overboard? Will the sailors and Jonah survive? Some of you may already know the rest of the story, but there's more. Next week, we're going to go deeper into the story of Jonah. How will God show mercy to the Ninevites? Will God forgive Jonah for saying no to him? Tune in next week to find out.